All right, I'm in Unit 1152. This one's vacant. I'm at the Bellagio. Uh, I was going in Unit 1220, and there were no lights on. But it was the same floor plan. Uh, all the bedrooms are upstairs. This one has tile, and it has no carpeting. And I wonder why. <laughs> uh, these little condos actually have, which you can't see, there's the fence. But on the back of that fence is the pool, and then there's a big green grassy area. And this one has also got a two-car garage. So here's the kitchen. And so it's got all these appliances, it's got your refrigerator. This is where you come in from the garage. This is the pantry. And we got a washer dryer, which are teeny, um, and a bathroom, just a powder room downstairs here. Uh, when I was in this other unit at 1220, one of these bedrooms is super tiny, so you get a big flight of stairs here. It looks really big on the camera. We're just looking at this unit to see the floor plan. Here's the bathroom here. You got one sink and it's a shared bathroom between this bedroom and this bedroom. And then you have the master larger bedroom down there. Uh, this has got a tub, shower, dirty tub, dirty shower. You can see this bedroom. It looks like it's about 10 by 10. It does have a closet. The view from the bedroom. Here's the other building. So this unit's pretty beat. It's too bad. This bedroom's a little bit bigger. Just that one bedroom was kind of tiny. This one's got just this little extra space right here. So, and there's another unit, 1155, that also faces the pool that's available. I'll have to look at the price on that one. And actually, honestly, I don't, I don't remember the price on this. I'll, I'll type it in for you, though. So this would be the master. It's a bigger room. And you've got a walk-in closet. And just a small bath again with the same kind of scuzzy gross shower. So I wouldn't recommend this unit, but at least this kind of gives you an idea of the floor plan of the three-bedroom unit at the Bellagio.